after so long i'm finally here with another video uh sorry guys that this has taken so long to get out to you guys but it is my summer 2021 manga collection video if you didn't know already i'm making one of these videos like every season so i've already made one for winter of 2021 uh spring of 2021 and this is the summer 2021 video uh if you couldn't tell my collection has basically doubled since my last manga collection video so yeah, I have a lot to go through, so I think we should just get right into it. But first off, I do want to say, guys, that I did make a Instagram. Uh, I haven't really uploaded it on it yet, but you could go and check that. I'll put that in the description below. Uh, it's not really going to be, it's not much. Um, it's not going to be like as much of a thing that I do for YouTube or TikTok. So, yeah, so yeah, go and check that out. And yeah, let's get into the collection. And first off, we just kind of had like this kind of shrine, I guess, like a bunch of posters on the wall, you know. Uh, my box sets, uh, without the manga, and obviously, because that's down there. Uh, Pokemon little things that I don't really consider to be manga. Homemade Pokemon cards that I made. I don't know, I was bored one day, so. And yeah, some figures, a uh, bookmark. And this thing that I made from camp, Eren Diego. Alright, so now into the actual manga, which you guys came for. First off, we'll just go from left to right down. First, we just got Demon Slayer Volumes 1 to 15. Uh, yeah, I really like Demon Slayer. Most of you guys will probably know my opinion on Demon Slayer. I think it is a very solid series. I think it is like a great starter shonen, like a great starter action shonen for people who want to get like into anime and manga. I uh, really like the characters. I do think it's kind of... You know, it's it's a great plot. I wouldn't say it's, like, similar to other things. I was about to say that, but it's a great plot. Uh, it's pretty unique in its own way. And I do think it's, like, it's, like, great enough for people to, like, if you're trying to get somebody into anime, I'd say Demon Slayer is one of those series that you could kind of recommend them, them to because the animation in the show is really great. So that's why I really like Demon Slayer. Uh, the art, it gets better throughout the series. I've actually only read up to volume 11. I am going to read the rest of it. But uh, volume 16 through 19, which is what I need next, are all out of stock, which kind of sucks. And I want to binge read the series, so uh, yeah, I'm going to wait a bit for that to come out. Uh, yeah, I really like Demon Slayer. Probably I rate it like a 8.5 to 9 out of 10 for the series. I'll, I'll Actually, you know what? That's something new I'll do. I'll rate series out of 10 that I have. All right, next is The Promised Neverland, volumes 1 to 20. I love The Promised Neverland. Like, if you guys didn't know, this is one of my favorite manga series specifically. Uh, and why I say manga is because if, if you didn't know, I think most of you guys will know, season 2 of the anime is, like, really bad. It's, like, not even close to being good. Uh, so, yeah. The manga is really great. In my opinion, the first two arcs are absolutely insane. But then around, like, volumes 16 through 18... The, the series kind of like, I'm not going to lie, kind of got bad for a bit. Like, not bad, but, you know, like, not as good. And then volume 19 and 20 were amazing. And 20 is one of my favorite volumes that I have in this whole collection. So, yeah, The Promised Neverland. It's an amazing series overall. I'd definitely give it a 10 out of 10 in terms of, like, ratings. Uh, if you're going to collect the manga, just so you know, the end of season one of the anime, which you could watch because that's actually good, ends in volume five. And then from then on, you could just read. So it's really good. You know, I actually learned this from Bakuman, like, you know, reader surveys. There's actually something called reader surveys when it comes to Shonen Jump, where uh, readers will send in like their rankings of favorite series. And then the series with the worst rankings, I mean, will usually like uh, start to like like get canceled or like it will get canceled in the magazine and i'm pretty sure that's hap what happened around here because it got kind of bad i'm not gonna lie so yeah either way the prompts never land other than those few volumes there it's literally like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece i love it so much the art is a little bit like it's kind of messy at times but honestly the story is so great that it makes up for the art sometimes all right next up is haikyuu it's another one of my favorite series on this collection i really love haikyuu uh it's a, if you didn't know, it's a series about volleyball, if you couldn't really tell from these spines. Uh, yeah, I really love the series. Um, I was actually kind of playing volleyball before I read Haikyuu slash watched. And then after I watched it, I started playing volleyball for real. And that's one of my favorite sports. So yeah, um, people are reluctant to read slash watch the series simply because it is a sports series. But honestly, it's kind of like, it's really intense. Like, but Takis are seriously intense. Uh, but you know, like... If you want like sort of an action series that's not like, you know, dark or you don't have to be too sad about, Haikyuu is great because, you know, there's a lot of action still, uh, but it's not like, you know, like the violent action that you would see with like Demon Slayer or like, you know, something like that. So 
the Haikyuu is a great series. I really love it. Probably a 10 out of 10. Uh, the last volume recently came out, so I'm planning to get a lot more of it because there's 45 volumes. But of course, the volumes that I need after this are kind of out of stock, which kind of sucks. All right, next is We Never Learn, volumes 1 to 17, which is caught up. Uh, there are 17 volumes out right now, and that is all that is out right now. So, um, yeah, I'm planning to collect the rest of it as it comes out. I've only read up to volume 14, and this is literally, it's an amazing series. It's kind of, it's a great rom-com, like, sort of harem series. It's definitely harem, what do I mean? It's, uh, it's, it's hilarious. It always makes me laugh. Um... Yeah, this is one of the series, I collect the series and uh, this might sound really sad, but I collected this whole series in 17 days. That's how much I love this series. This is one of those series that like after I finish a volume and I don't have any more volumes after that, I'm like, crap, I need to get more. So like, I really love this series. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, if you're looking for like a rom-com, if you could withstand, like if you're a final fan service, we never learn is for you. Some of you guys that are watching, I'm sure some of you guys actually like that sort of stuff. Oh, the ding, 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 ding. But, uh, yeah, it's a really hilarious story. Love the story. Uh, I mean, there's, like, at the start, it's kind of just random, but then there's, like, some story involved for each of the characters. Yeah, and Kurti Su is my favorite character. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to read the online version after I finish 17, because, you know, this series is so good, and I don't feel like waiting until October to get the next volume. All right, moving down onto the second level, we have My Hero Academia, volumes 1 to 18. Uh, My Hero Academia, most of you guys will probably know what the series is. I personally think it is a great series. Um, a lot of people don't like the series. Um, some people will either say it's simple, and then the other people will say it's because of the fan base. Now, I could understand people saying that's simple. I guess it is a really simple shonen, but that doesn't mean it's bad. But uh, if you guys are reluctant to read slash watch My Hero just because of the fandom, I understand that like some parts of the fandom are pretty weird at times. But, like, that doesn't mean that the series is bad. That's kind of like saying, like, a lot of people read and love Rowan Kenshin. And even though the author is, like, a really bad person, that doesn't mean that it's a bad series. Just because the fan base is bad doesn't mean that it's a bad, like, series. So, yeah, My Hero Academia, uh, honestly, I think you should just give it a read and just stay away from the fan base if that's what you don't like. Uh, I really like the series. Uh, the characters are all great. Like, there's some great character development in the series as well. I'd probably give it, like, a... Probably like a, I'd say like an 8.5 out of 10, 8.5 to 9 out of 10. It's a great series. I really like it. Probably like an 8.5. And forgot to rate We Never Learn, but that's a 10 out of 10 for me. I love that series. It's hilarious. Uh, yeah, My Hero Academia, if you're looking for like a shonen, battle shonen, with like uh, not too much violence and you know, kind of lighthearted, I guess at times, My Hero Academia is for you. Sometimes it could get dark, but you know, I still really like the series. Characters are enjoyable, you know, great plot. I like it a lot. All right, next is Naruto volumes 1 to 15. Now, if you guys didn't know, I have been collecting Naruto with first the three in ones and then three individual volumes because the three in ones are cheaper and I just like owning the three in ones more. So yeah, uh, I was gonna get 16, 17, and 18, but I just haven't yet. And I'm pretty sure 17 is out of stock, which kind of stinks. But you know, uh, Naruto, I really like the series. I really, li you know, it's classic. So I mean, of course I gotta love it. Uh, honestly, I'd rate it like an eight out of 10. I do think, like, sometimes it gets boring because, you know, for long series, it's kind of hard to, like, have it always good at all times. I'm actually almost done with the base show of the anime, but the manga, it's just taking so long because uh, I was told that around the end of the base show of Naruto, it's just mainly filler. So I'm just going to skip all the filler. So without the filler, I only have, like, 20 episodes to watch. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to get more of Naruto. I like the series. It's really great. Uh, you know, classic. And I also have this character data book. Uh, too many spoilers because I haven't watched Shippuden, so I can't really read that. Next in line is Dragon Ball Volumes 1 to 5, which if you guys uh, have seen my previous videos, uh, I used to only have Volumes 1 and 2 of Dragon Ball, and I got three more volumes. Uh, and if you guys also know my channel, you guys will know that I don't love Dragon Ball. I just think it's a bad series. But then again, I've only read these two volumes. Uh, uh, apparently, Akira Toriyama, who is the author right there, he was gonna make he wasn't like sure where the series was going he didn't know if it was gonna be like a gag manga uh, a battle shonen or an action you know like so apparently after like the first two volumes which are kind of just like you know the starting plot it will actually turn into like a good plot with like battles and stuff which i hope it is the case actually i'll just tell you guys right here in my next video is where i unbox these uh three volumes and i'm gonna be reading them i haven't read them yet but i am I have high hopes for it. I want to like Dragon Ball. 
I just don't, just based on the first two volumes. The first two volumes, I'm not gonna lie, I just don't like it. It's, it's just not good in my opinion. But apparently the first battles happen in 345, so yeah. Based on the two volumes, I'm giving that series a 6 out of 10. Uh, next is Bakuman Volumes 1 to 20, which is a series about manga making. So it's very unique. It's something that you don't see every day. Uh, there's literally like no action in the series, which makes it kind of unique. Um, yeah, and you know, this series, I made a video on it with my, you know, review and unboxing. Uh, I really like the series, but just the thing is that there's so much writing. Like, look at all that writing. It's by the same people who made Death Note. And there is such an intent, like, such an insane amount of writing. So if you're, like, fine, you know, reading for a while, if you kind of want a long read, then I recommend the series. I do think, um, in my opinion, you should read, like, at least uh, maybe, like, three to five series before you read Bakuman. Because then you could kind of appreciate the work that goes into manga making. I would never recommend Bakuman as a starting series. I think you gotta kind of be into manga before you start the series. I'm reading Bakuman a 10 out of 10. It's a very satisfying ending. Uh, I do wish they added a bit more to the end, but it's still a great series in my opinion. I really like Bakuman so far. I mean, I finished it, so I like it a lot. The box that's right there. Uh, next is Jujutsu Kaisen volumes 1 through 6 and then 10 and 11. So, uh, like, I already, I'm pretty sure I said this in one of my previous videos, but the situation on Jujutsu Kaisen for me is I ordered all of the volumes. So originally I had 1 through 6, and then when the Books A Million Buy To Get Their Free Sale happened, I ordered 0 and then uh, 7 through 10. Volume 10 arrived in the mail, but Jujutsu Kaisen, I mean, Books A Million have a, has a situation where the volumes will say it's in stock when it's really out of stock. So I guess I kind of got finessed. I'm sure the volumes will still come in eventually, but it's literally been over two months since we ordered the volumes and the volumes still haven't come in. I mean, volume 10 came in stock, but the other stuff has still not arrived yet because I guess the series was really not in stock, even though it said it was. So, uh, yeah, but speaking on Jujutsu Kaisen as just as a series, uh, in one of my first manga collection videos after reading volume one, I said that I didn't really like it too much, but then I kept reading on and it just kept getting better and better. And then now Jujutsu Kaisen is like amazing. I'd rate this series a nine out of 10. Uh, anime is a bit better, but you know, it's an insane series. I really like it a lot. The characters are great. Uh, it's a uh, great art. I really like the series as a whole. All right, after that is Dr. Stone Volumes 1 and 2, which is another series that I really like. It's another new gen shonen. Um, I really like the series. The art is amazing, especially, and I really like the plot. It's very unique. It's kind of like, uh, it literally, if you take, let's see, if you take, like, Minecraft and nerdy science stuff and put it together, you get Dr. Stone. I really like Dr. Stone. It's really unique. Uh... I'm rating 9 out of 10 as well. I really want to get more of it, but Volume 3 has been out of stock for so long. And according to the Barnes & Noble website, it's supposed to get in stock in December. I don't want to wait that long for a single volume of Dr. Stone. But you know, if I have to wait that long, then I will. Alright, next is Hunter x Hunter Volumes 1 and 2. Hunter x Hunter is another one of those like classic shonen that like along with Naruto, you know, and like One Piece down there. I really like Hunter x Hunter. It's a... It's another like sort of adventure series. I really like it a lot. There's not much to say about it. It's a uh, one of those older shonen, and I like it a lot. So, yeah, I give it an 8.5 out of 10 mainly because I haven't seen too much of it. I don't want to give it too high of a rating before like you know, you know like because I haven't seen too much of it. So yeah. Next is volumes one and two of Yu Yu Hakusho, which is the same author who made Hunter x Hunter Yoshihiro Togashi. Uh, I think these two series are like light years apart. They're very different. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho actually. I've only read volume one, so, you know, I'm gonna read volume two eventually, but the two series are, like, very different, so, you know, I really like Yu Yu Hakusho, um, yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho, it's one of those series that kind of got, uh, forgotten in the midst of, like, all the popular series like Naruto, so I think that Yu Yu Hakusho does deserve a bit more recognition, it is really good based on what I've seen, uh, but, you know, there's, like, no battles or anything yet, so i apparently, uh, battles do come in eventually, but, you know, Volume 3 has been out of stock, so I'm gonna get more eventually. I rate Yu Yu Hakusho a 8 out of 10 based on what I've read. Alright, finally, moving down to the bottom two shelves. My voice is kinda dying. I've been talking for a while now. Alright, first we got One Punch Man Volumes 1 to 9. And before I say anything, why? 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 Why is the old Shonen Jump logo for a single volume? And whenever I go to Barnes & Noble or anything, I can't find Volume 4 without the old Shonen Jump logo, so... Man, that it really sucks. But you know, One Punch Man, talking about it as a series, I really like it. I like it like a lot. 
uh, it's a very fast paced uh, action shonen and the main reason why it's so good in my opinion is the art this is literally the first page like you open the volume boom that's the art like i was actually freaking out when i first read this series uh i really like one punch man saitama is insane now, i'm not gonna say he solos anybody because i haven't really seen that many powerful characters in manga and anime but one punch man it's amazing uh if you want like a quick read because i timed how long it took me to read a volume and it took me literally like i'm pretty sure 20 minutes and i'm a slow reader so so that just proves like how much action and battle is in this series. So yeah, if you want like a nice read uh, the, to kind of like, you know, just kind of chill out, um, One Punch Man's for you. I really like it, um, probably a nine out of 10. Next is One Piece volumes one, two, three, and volume 40. Uh, one Piece, I really like it a lot. It is, I've literally only read like two and a half of these volumes. I haven't even finished volume three. And it's already way better than Naruto. Like, it's the best out of the big three by far, and I haven't even gotten that far into the series. It's insane. I really like it a lot. I don't know if uh, the series is good throughout the entire 96 volumes that are out right now, but I am. I have high hopes. Uh, I was, you know, I was actually waiting for the box set for so long to come back in stock, but then, you know, I was just like, screw it, I'm just gonna get the individual volumes. And now I have the feeling that the box set's gonna come in stock. So if that ever happens, I'm just gonna buy the box set and sell these three volumes to, like, say my friend or somebody you know and volume 40 if you're wondering that why that's there um i've already explained this before but you know those little free libraries uh my older sister is walking one day with her friend they decided to look in one of them and she found one piece volume 40 uh don't worry uh i a few days later i went back and like put a book in to the little free library so yeah it was pretty cool if you guys want to know what little free libraries are just search it up i don't feel like explaining it right now but yeah one piece uh 9.5 out of 10 so far it's really great all right, next is Chainsaw Man Volume 1, and man, this is like, like, when I was reading this volume, I was like, how is this in Shonen Jump? It's like barely a Shonen, it's so violent, it's like, literally like, it's as violent as Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is in a Shonen, by the way. Uh, it's really good though, I I really like Chainsaw Man, like, I re really like it. Um, I actually ordered Volumes 1 and 2, um, Volume 2 from Books A Million, which you know, still hasn't shipped my order so you know i'm just gonna have to wait a bit for volume two i really like it though uh there's not really much to say about it. it's very if you want like a violent shonen uh this this is like a great series i really like it a lot if you like attack on titan or something like that then chainsaw man i rate chainsaw man 9 out of 10 already all right next is slam dunk volume one and i actually really like slam dunk it's uh it's a sports manga if you couldn't tell by the title uh, I like it a lot because, you know, for sports series that I've seen slash read, it's like mainly the main character. They play the sport that like the series is about already. And then like they become good throughout the series. But Slam Dunk is interesting because the main character, he hates basketball at the start, which is like, it's interesting. Like it's really interesting because uh, that's not what you see in a, in a sports manga every day. Then again, I haven't seen too many sports manga. So yeah, don't go to the comments and say, wait a minute, but this manga, blah, 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 blah the main character hates the sport and then he gets good so like yeah uh don't say that i haven't seen too many sports series but like i still really like it a lot uh it's one of the older classic series as well all right next is the legend of zelda what's this say legend of zelda or 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 okay oh, 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 of time okay there we go uh these are i haven't read these two volumes yet so i'm not gonna give a rating on this oh it's slam dunk speaking of the rating i give it a 8.5 out of 10 right now the Legend of Zelda, I found these two volumes actually at Goodwill. Uh, yes, I made a TikTok on it. You could see that on my TikTok account. Yes, shameless plug. I got each volume for three bucks each, which is a great deal for manga at least. Uh, so yeah, these are, I don't even know if they're good. So I'm gonna have to read them later. I've never even been a big fan of the video game, but you know, maybe the manga is good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not just gonna pass up two volumes sitting at Goodwill for, for like, you know, I'm not gonna pass them up. So yeah, and also it's volume one and two, so I could like start the series. All right, next is one volumes one to five, which is another thing that I got in one of my previous YouTube videos, which is my uh, video where I went to a manga, uh, like a comic book shop and I bought manga there. This was a value pack volumes one to five. It was like 18 bucks, I'm pretty sure, which is a really good deal for manga at least. Uh, this is a manhua, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's like a Korean manga. It's pretty, like it's a normal comic, so it's different. And I'm not gonna lie, it, it kind of sucks. Like, I'm not even gonna hide that. I didn't like it that much. At, at least, um, I read the first volume. It was not good, in my opinion. It was, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't good. 
maybe it gets better in the later volumes but i mean like maybe that's why they're selling it for so cheap also the volumes are like pretty yellow and stuff so yeah one is uh six out of ten as well like dragon ball uh i did not like volume one i hope it gets better i want to give it a chance as well but i'm not ever going to be collecting any more of it so yeah don't give one a chance you could probably buy the volumes online for super cheap i'm pretty sure right stuff anime is selling that for like three bucks or something so yeah uh i wouldn't get that if i were you but you know whatever floats your boat next is fire force volume one uh fire force uh if you guys didn't know it's another series that i kind of have mixed feelings about it's like you know yeah a lot of people are going to come after me for this but it's just firefighting like i don't know why it's it, i don't find it that interesting it just feels like so basic like like the most base like if you if you, it's like if you ran off an idea for a manga and then the only thing you could think of is oh wait maybe so we could fight fire dudes and that's it like it's and then just like make a normal shonen except that it, you're fighting like fire things so yeah you know please don't kill me in the comments guys because i might be proven wrong like i didn't like jujutsu kaisen too much at the start and now i love it so i'm gonna give it a chance someday um maybe in one of my future vlogs i'll get volume two and three but volume one nah it ain't it for me at least so yeah uh fire force volume one seven out of ten it was like not the best all right attack on titan volumes one through eight uh yeah i love attack on titan you know it's a great series it's actually one of my first anime ever uh so yeah attack on titan a lot of you i don't think i really need to give a full out in review like for you guys watching right now because i'm assuming you guys know what attack on titan is i'm gonna get more of it i'm waiting for the season two box set to be in stock so i could get nine through twelve in the box set uh so yeah i really like attack on titan you know i don't really need to say much about it you know attack on titan you know it, it's good Next is Overlord Volume 1, which is a volume that my friend Becca, uh, when I went to Las Vegas, uh, we saw her there, and she gave this volume to me for free because she happened to have an extra copy. So thank you so much. If you're watching this, Becca, thank you for the volume. Uh, it's an isekai, so, you know, like, Sword Art Online or whatever. If you don't know what that is, guys, it's like a, it's a manga slash anime series where, like, somebody's in a video game, like, you know, stuck in a video game or whatever. So, yeah, I don't really like Overlord too much. I mean actually it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie but like it's a series that i'm like not gonna ever be collecting more of since like i mean actually when i was at kino kunya which is like the manga bookstore that um i've been to before they happen to have volume two but i didn't get it so yeah i don't think i'm ever gonna be getting more of overlord i've heard that the anime is good and also the opening slaps so uh yeah overlord is a 7 out of 10 so yeah actually a mm, bit closer to 8 out of 10 it was actually pretty okay next is hori mia volume one uh, this is a manga series that my friend Tyker recommended to me. Well, I mean, he's been trying to get me to read it for so long. And, uh, here's my review on it. Is it good? Yes, it is very good. It is great, in fact. I, I actually really like it. It's really good. But is it as good as my friend Tyker has been saying it is? Or Tyler? It is not as good as he has been saying it is. He's, like, been talking about it so much. That's the only thing I've seen him get, like... And in his manga collecting videos, that's the only thing he got in his most recent video, which is his only video about manga so far. Uh, he only got Horimiya. I feel like he talks about like it's a 12 out of 10, but I'm only going to rate it like a... I'm going to say an 8.5 out of 10. I'm, I'm being very, very, very generous with all of these ratings. Like, I don't rate series too low. Uh, so, yeah, Horimiya is like an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, then again, this is only volume one, so you can't really judge a series just based on volume one, in my opinion. Uh, it's like a kind of lighthearted uh, romance series. So I'm going to get more of them, but I feel like every volume two I find is always damaged in some sort of way. So yeah, one I found is warped. Another one that I found was ripped. Another one that I found had like a little spot on the spine. And it was like kind of weird and out of place. So yeah, I'm not going to be getting uh, Horimiya volume two unless if I can find like a good, in good condition volume. So yeah, Horimiya is pretty good so far though. Next is Revenge of, how do you pronounce this? Mo, Mauflon, Mauflon, Revenge of Mauflon. I've read this volume and it's good. It's like a, it's another thing that I got from that comic book shop that I went to. It was only five bucks, so I decided to pick it up. It's really interesting, actually. It's like kind of a follow-up 9-11 story. So it's really cool to, like, it's really cool. It's like very fast paced because I'm pretty sure it's only two volumes. If I ever find volume two or ever come across it someday, I'm going to be picking that up. But I doubt I'm going to find it ever, so... Revenge of Moflon, I don't know how to pronounce it still. Uh, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, it's good. Inuyasha Anime Manga Volume 20. This is very random, 
but I found this at a uh, little free library as well. I actually made a TikTok that kind of went viral that has over 200,000 likes, just kind of flexing a bit. Uh, yeah, I found this volume at a little free library. Uh, it, it's pretty okay. I mean, I didn't actually read it, but it looks pretty okay. It looks kind of cool. Uh, you know, it's like an anime manga, so it's a manga of the anime just put into panels. So it's it's kind of cool. I'm never gonna read it, but you know, it's cool. Just because of the quality of the pages, I'm gonna give that a, how about a, a solid 7.5 out of 10. I'm just kidding. I can't really judge it because I haven't read it. Yeah. All right, next is Tokyo Ghoul volumes one to 10. I've only read up to volume seven. Seven, yep. Uh, these are my older sister's volumes actually, except for volume five, I bought volume five. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul, I always say this, but I feel like it's just a more violent version of Demon Slayer. And Demon Slayer is like a slightly less violent version of Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I like both series, they both have their differences and similarities, but I uh, I personally like Demon Slayer a tiny bit more. Tokyo Ghoul though, it's still a... What did I say for to Demon Slayer? I said an 8.5 to 9, right? Okay, Tokyo Ghoul is an 8 to 8.5. Yeah, it's good. They're like very close in rating. I like Tokyo Ghoul, the characters are good. If you want like a more violent shonen, uh, like Attack on Titan, then Tokyo Ghoul is for you. Alright, next is 20th Century Boys Volume 7. Uh, I got this at the comic book shop as well. I already explained this, but this is the only volume that I've ever bought just for my collection. I got this for like 12 bucks, I'm pretty sure, 13 bucks maybe. And uh, if you didn't know, 20th Century Boys, the single volumes, they're like worth a lot now because they are out of print. And they started printing these like perfect omnibus edition volumes. So that's why I got this volume because it was there. And somebody told me in the comments that they had volume 18 there, which was worth like a lot more money. Like a, like a lot of money, so... If I ever go there again, I'll make sure to pick that up. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny because I didn't like, I was like kind of sad because I searched up the prices and it was worth like a lot more. So yeah, it's a pretty cool volume though. I don't even know what 20th Century Boys is about, but I do know that the author also made, uh, what do you make? Monster. Yeah, so I'm hoping that they're both good. Yeah, because I'm going to read Monster eventually. All right, next is Life Lessons with Uromichi on Nissan Volume 1. All right, I really, this is a comedy, purely comedy. It's like about a dude, a middle-aged man, who runs a children's show. And it's a really funny, like, it's kind of advanced humor. It's really funny, though. It's like, it's, 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 it's hilarious. Like, if you want kind of a manga that will make you laugh, then this is perfect, perfect for you. Like, I, it's really funny. I'm going to get more of it eventually. All right, then To Your Eternity, Volume 1. I, I have watched only one episode of the anime, because, uh, you know, apparently it was good. So then I got the volume one of manga as well. I haven't actually read the manga other than, like, you know, I know the story for the anime part. But, like, uh, to, to Your Attorney, based on what I've seen, it's good. It's, like, definitely good. Oh, yeah, I forgot to write To Your um, Life Listen to Uramichi on Nissan. That's a 8.5 out of 10. To Your Eternity, however, is, like, a... I'd also say it's an 8.5 out of 10. It's a pretty... It's a really interesting story. I've never seen a story like it before. So yeah, it's really cool, but I don't really think I could judge it yet. Um, it's an adventure story though. Finally, we're at the last two things. I've been recording for almost 30 minutes and I'm so tired now. Okay, for um, next we got Rascal Does Not Dream, Bunny Girl Senpai, Petite Devil, Kohai, and Logical Witch, which are the three uh, first three volumes of the Rascal Does Not Dream series, which is Rascal Does Not Dream, Bunny Girl Senpai, which is the anime, so. Yes, uh, these are all light novels here, all four of these volumes. Uh, and if you don't know what a light novel is, it's like a, you know, it's like a legitimate book with like a picture every once in a while. It's a, it's, it's a good read. Uh, if you like the anime, then you could read a legit book uh, for once, like me, and then you could enjoy the series. I liked it a lot, so yeah. Um, these three volumes, I've only read one and a half of them, so I'm gonna read the third one. Uh, eventually and i'm gonna collect the rest of the series i'm pretty sure there's like six of these rascal not dream of series uh not, rascal's not dream of books so yeah it's really good if you like the anime you'd like the light novels and i'm pretty sure there's actually manga volumes of it too so yeah that's pretty cool and finally last but okay i'm gonna read this a nine out of ten finally last but maybe least uh we got my hero academia school reese volume one i haven't even read this it's another thing that i found in the little free library um it's another light novel so yeah that's pretty cool I'm pr actually, no, did I read some of it? I'm pretty sure I actually read some of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to rate it. Oh, jeez, bro. Oh, man. That was pure talking for almost 30 minutes, and now I'm so tired, bro. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, yeah, if you guys want to, check out my Instagram. And also, thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. That's honestly kind of crazy. This channel has been growing, like, extremely fast. Like, way faster than I thought it would. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for that. I have, I already have two more videos that are in line for that I'm ready to upload. I mean, not ready to upload, but I got to edit um, and then upload. Uh, first is the Dragon Ball video, video that I mentioned in the review of it. And then a, another manga shopping with friends video, which I seems like you guys really like those videos. So yeah, I'm going to make more of those. I have a fun time recording and editing those anyway. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video of my manga collection. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you're wondering, yes, I really did buy a Miku pillow and you could buy them on Amazon.